Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about the another chart type or graph type which is called as a line graph. This is the third video of the topic visualization. We started with the uh, first plot called a bar plot followed by a scatter plot. This is my third plot which is called line chart. Very commonly used chart, right? And for this, there's no package required for uh, this uh, plotting of this uh, kind of a graph. So what is line graph? First of all, it's a pictorial uh, representation or graphical representation of information which changes continuously over the time. The best, best example of the line chart is like uh, if you are a cricket fan, you must have seen like on the TV, the broadcasters used to show the scores comparison between two teams. Like maybe at this uh, 10 over mark, what's the score? This team has been has scored, right? And they can, they show with us some graph, right? How the team went from zero over to 50 over, right? And how many wickets they have uh, like lost over the time, right? The same way uh, we, they represent the second team uh, score as well. This is the best example of line chart. So within line chart, there are point connecting the data to show the continuous change, how the team score over the different overs. The line in the line graph can go up and down based upon the data. This we have shown in the this uh, that kind of scores uh, comparison that they do on the TV, right? So how we can do it? Uh, we can do it with the regular plot function, the same plot function we have used for scatter plot as well, in which there's some parameter we are using. V meaning is vector here. Type meaning is the different type of uh, graph. Uh, we are going with the O here. There are other options available. We'll talk about it in a while. CUL means color, XLAB means X label, YLAB means Y label. So here what we are doing like we have a vector available. We try to uh, plot this vector with the help of type equal to O and we want to save this as a file name as lc1.png and def.off represent the saving the file. Let's do it here. Let's see whether the uh, image got generated and we can see uh, whether we can see the line chart at the end or not. For that, let's check out here. So this has been uh, done. Let's check out here with the LC1, whether it's available or not. LC1 and have a look. If I'm opening up this image, you can see it here. The, uh, this regular line chart got uh, representing here, got printed here. And you can see it here, just a uh, uh, matching or like uh, joining all the points and the line chart got generated here. And this is done, right? Moving further. This is the first example we have took, right? Next example coming up on our way. Uh, so now let's add some information. Now, as I've already told you that type is uh, nothing but the, uh, it represents the line plot type. There are there are multiple other uh, options. We can try it here. We can also try S, we can also try B. Let's do it here. Now, instead of uh, O, let's do it with the S. Let's see the change here. In this case, we are also adding the uh, X label and Y label, plus we are also adding the color equal to green. In this case, this, there was no color option, no parameter of uh, X label, Y label. So we are making it more meaningful here. Let's do it here. Again, we have a vector available as an input. Now let's uh, do it here, okay? So for that, again, I press enter and let's see whether we have a LC2 available or not. And you can see some change here. I'm having LC2 and you can see this is the S represent, means staircase. Is a line chart with the staircase with the green color, right? All got added. Plus we have a X label and Y label available. You can see it left side temperature and bottom we are having month available. It means it's got in come it's coming in effect in effect in this graph, right? Now last example in this case what we are doing we just now are doing some comparison. Let's compare the two things together. The way I was saying like the first team has already batted for 50 overs and scored 300 runs. Maybe second team is now uh, uh, currently batting and has already uh, like scored maybe 200 runs in the 40 overs. So they want to show the comparison between two teams. It's like that, right? So let's do it here. In this case, we can do it with the lines, right? So here we are adding the com comparing three things together, right? Maybe uh, V is another vector, W is another vector, X is another vector. Let's now make a comparison between three graphs here. Uh, consecutive right so one will be representing with the green other will be with the red other will be the blue let's do it here and this is the last example we are having for this video okay so let's do it so i'm again uh, pasting it here and it's been done let's check out in my home location whether lc3 got added or not so lc3 got added here let's see it uh, see it here you can see now three different lines got generated one is uh, blue one is green one is red this is how we can compare the multiple things together and this marks the end of this little video in which we have learned how we can go with the line chart in r thanks for watching guys see you in next video